just three breeding pairs of this beautiful raptor in England in 2016. There is a single overriding cause, according to most conservationists, and it is this. We have known about it for years. Gamekeepers have been prosecuted illegally killing raptors. For the first time, the British public is sufficiently roused to ask the British government to do something about it. It is a media campaign that has seen pro-shooting activists attack a brewery that makes a hen harrier beer. When the British start trolling breweries, you know it's serious. No surprise then that the hen harrier was the talk of the bird fair 2016. But what we have to do is build the public support so it's impossible for the Tories not to act. The public is the key. The problem is grouse shooting, says the RSPB. Hen harriers are probably one of our most threatened species across the United Kingdom uh, and in England arguably is the most threatened breeding bird that we have. The UK government has a commitment to try and prevent the extinction of um, species from man-made actions and we think that unless we take action quickly that the hen harrier will be extinct as a breeding bird in this country. So why, why have we got to this position? So I think probably today where we are is that um, 2016, a tiny number of nests in England um, have been successful. Um, probably across the United Kingdom uh, there might be up to you know, 600 pairs um, breeding. Not everyone agrees. We're managing these areas for multiple land use, so there's visitors enjoying it, there's water catchment areas for drinking water, there's sheep grazing for agriculture, and there's the sporting interest. So there are multiple layers that all need to work together. Um, and, and find their place in a balance together. Feelings are running high. Mark Avery is one of the Hen Harrier's most outspoken campaigners. He writes books, articles, broadcasts and organises regular Hen Harrier days. When grass shooting is banned, we will see places like national parks thriving with wildlife. We will all benefit. There will be more life in our uplands. They'll be, it, they'll be a bit different. There'll be more trees, more scrub, uh, but we will have a much bigger variety of wildlife. Moreland management isn't great really, and it's getting more and more intensive, which probably means more flooding, higher water treatment costs, and more problems. It's obviously not all bad. You get a few more um, curlews and golden plovers on some of these moors, but you've got to look at the big picture. This is a, an unsustainable way to manage our uplands. And it, the trouble is, grass shooting's underpinned by wildlife crime as well. Mark blames gamekeepers. One of his bugbears is burning heather. Here's a gamekeeper who says that burning is good for moorland. Yeah, so, you know, everything, you can see that nothing, nothing's damaged here. We've got heath beds, straw. Look here, look, there's been some grouse there, look, grouse nesting there, fresh droppings there, so grouse, sort of grouse roosting there. But lots of people think it's his fault. These are the feelings of Mark's supporters. Between 1974 and 1977, there were five or six nesting attempts in Wharfdale. One was successful. One of those, um, the gamekeeper, the head keeper on that estate of the time, was actually watched standing in the nest. And no, it wasn't, unfortunately, reported to the police. Back at Bird Fair, and Henry the Harrier is a popular attraction. There's a gamekeeper at the grouse shooting debate. With the problems, and I'm not into denial, there are problems with uh, persecution and uh, there has to be a recognition of that within the game industry. And I think there is a, a sea change, I'm pleased to say. People do want a way forward. With more than 100,000 signatures on Mark Avery's petition, grouse shooting is heading for a debate in the UK Parliament. Will they ban it? Probably not. But we could see a licensing system for grouse shoots. If you haven't already, and you want to add your name to the UK government petition, Go to the link on the screen.